So I'm currently at the Savannah National Wildlife Refuge. I'm a little rusty in vlogging, so I should probably back up and explain why I'm even here. But I'm on spring break, and we're actually staying at a timeshare unit on Hilton Head Island in South Carolina. But we arrived yesterday, and we're going to Savannah today. It's been so long since I've done any kind of travel vlogging, and I've really missed it. I don't think I've done one of these since probably Spain, I guess. But on our way to Savannah, we basically go right by the wildlife refuge, so I think it's a four mile drive around and you see alligators and stuff like that. This will probably not be exciting for those of you who are from Florida and everything like that but, but for us northerners this is very exciting. And then we'll go actually into Savannah and I think we're going to a buffet restaurant that's from the 1800s called the Pirate House and do you know do you know what gets me even more excited than a buffet? Nothing. We just finished walking around. I already forgot what it's called. I think the River Street walkway along the water and all the shops in Savannah. And now we're now we're on our way to I think it's called Bonaventure Bonaventure Cemetery. If you've seen the cover for the book The Midnight in the Garden of Good and Evil, which no, I have not read yet. I've been meaning to for such a long time. I think I do own it. But if you recognize that statue from the cover, it's a bit from a really famous cemetery in Savannah. So we're about to go walk around there. So it's actually the last day of the trip at the time I'm filming this just because I'm really bad at vlogging apparently But I realized that I never filmed an intro to my second day at Savannah Like I said today's the final day and we're just back at Hilton Head Island where we've been staying just having a relaxing beach day But 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 in the clips you're about to see that was my second and last day in Savannah since we're staying on Hilton Head for about a week We wanted to do two days in Savannah and then one day in Charleston But on, but on this day in Savannah we first went to Paula Deen's restaurant and did the buffet which I have to say I ended up not really being a fan of the pirate house and I know and I know a lot of you guys might be saying well maybe you'd like the food more if you stop going to touristy buffets I don't have a response to that but reflecting back on it pirate house I would not recommend I just felt ill because it was so much grease and so but I actually did end up really enjoying Paula Deen's restaurant those little hoe cakes oh my god they were so good if you are wondering why I ended up not showing the statue that I had been talking about from the cover of the midnight in the garden of good and evil that's because if you are interested and going to Bonaventure Cemetery solely to see that statue. I just feel the need to point out that it's not there. <laughs> I guess it's actually located in a museum, but the cemetery is beautiful regardless. We were just going there because my mom had been there before and we really liked it. But now we can get back into day two of Savannah and I have to say looking back on this whole trip, I think Savannah might actually be my favorite city in the States now.
everyone. So we just arrived in Charleston because we're staying on Hilton Head Island. Charleston's actually it was over two hours just getting here so we're only coming here one of the days of the trip but because it took so long to get here we're going to lunch first and we're at a place one of you guys recommended on Instagram I don't remember your username but someone recommended the tattooed moose and my friend Sarah had also recommended this place so we're first going here then I think we're touring a mansion called the Calhoun mansion and then I think we're doing a really stereotypical touristy carriage ride throughout Charleston just because in our family we really do like to plan out our vacations and most of the reviews said that if you really want to see Charleston and do a carriage ride or something like that because it's so let's go ahead and eat wear right now that's because it's 9 p.m. about and we just got back but I will say my favorite thing about this entire trip even over any of the food anything that I saw the carriage rides anything I purchased would have to be Spanish moss which might which might sound a little which might sound a little bit ridiculous particularly to people who experience it or are around it all the time. I'll insert some clips of Spanish moss that's hanging outside of our timeshare unit, but I don't know what it is, but I'm just obsessed with it. And I know I can't take it and have it grow where I live because it only grows in certain environments. It was all over Savannah as well. Why am I getting closer as I'm talking? But I will show you something that I purchased because I'm a little bit in love with it. But it says if you're alone in the forest and you spill your glass of wine, can you suck it out of your shirt? Like, I found this mildly funny, but I think it's the juxtaposition of this with... I don't want to call this a this, but I genuinely don't know if this is a boy or a girl or an adult or a child or a dwarf or a little person. What? Like, what exactly is happening in there? I'm not sure, but, but I, either way, I'm obsessed with this. So if you guys liked this travel vlog, let me know if you've been to Savannah or Charleston and if you enjoyed them and anything you, that you did there. Also, also, if you're a big fan of Spanish moss like myself, just tweet me at hashtag Spanish moss. I'm just, I'm just kidding, that part was a joke. But I hope you guys liked this travel vlog, but I will see you guys soon. Bye.